Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. I feel like my voice has dropped three octaves. It's also kind of gone. Over today's video, it's very exciting. I'm going to be doing a video that has been very, very highly requested. It's all about like organization slash kind of planning. This has really changed a lot in my life. I love organization and I love planning. I'm like big, big fan of both of those things, but they've changed a ton in my life recently since I have picked up an iPad Pro. My iPad Pro has changed the game completely and I am here to show you guys how I digitally plan. It's nothing too crazy, but so many of you guys have been asking me about it, so I thought I would like let you know. I'm also gonna do what's in my backpack, my five best tips for like being organized, all that stuff, because I feel like it's really exciting when you go into the new year and you're like all organized, but right about now, it like the past few weeks really is like the slump where we hit and we're like not organized anymore. So I thought I would share all of my tips, all of my knowledge, everything that I do with you guys. If you guys are new here and you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you guys are not aware, I have a podcast called the I Love You So Much Podcast with me, Kenzie Elizabeth. Basically, I just talk about people that I love and I talk to them about things that I've learned from them. It's really cool. There's so many other people on it, whatever. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. I feel like I haven't really talked about it in like a sit down video in a bit. So, we're gonna get started into my organization video. If you guys like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Comment down below what time it is when you guys are watching this video. I'm gonna chug this coffee. It's Sunday afternoon, and my Sundays are really long, and I'm on like coffee number three of the day, and it's like 1 p.m. Okay, so I'm going to start off with just my five best tips for organization. I put them, wrote them down on my list. I'm a big list girl on my phone. I literally use a notes app. It's the best thing. Number one, I put be married to your calendar. So um, this is something they tell me like in like the leaders in my life have told me a billion times. I think knowing your calendar and being like, hey, I have this this weekend, I have that that weekend and knowing everything is so helpful. I'm not saying like don't be like spontaneous and fun. I'm just saying like this is the calendar. And then when you're like really focusing on the calendar, like married to the calendar, you're able to be like, hey, this works better here. That works better there. I'm going to be able to do this or this I need to break or I need to rest here. Like when you really focus on your calendar and your planner and you're like on top of your schedule and you're running your schedule instead of letting your schedule run you, that will change the game. I promise you it makes the biggest difference. Okay, number two said keep your space clean. This is a pretty obvious one I feel like, but I personally cannot function in a mess. Like even before I come into my office, like pretty much any day I clean up I, when I wake up the first thing I do is I make my bed I just like cannot operate in clutter or mess and if my space is messy that's how you know my life is falling apart so really just keeping things straightened up like I'm not like the most perfectly clean person by any means but I like really like things to be organized and clean I can't really do anything if they're not have a morning routine where you don't go straight into work. What I mean by that is just taking a second for yourself because if I wake up and I have to go like straight to what I'm doing or straight into work or something and I haven't had a second to like regroup, get my thoughts together, like really just like kind of relax in the morning a little bit, even if it's 10 minutes, um, that will like set me off for the day. Like I'm not really set up for, to have the best day and set up to have like the best like mental capacity for the day. So that's big. Number four, always clean before you go to bed. Um, wake up to a clean house, a clean room, clean apartment, whatever it is, clean bathroom. You don't wanna wake up to clutter. That's not staying on top of things and it's just like, it's not good. I feel so much better when I wake up to a clean room. It's like, if I wake up to a dirty room, that's it. Like, my day's over, it's ruined. Number five, I put be prepared. Okay, so this is huge for me. I am literally, I think I planned my outfit the night before since I was in middle school and I'm 21 now, like I'm a junior in college, like I plan my outfit out the night before every morning or every night. I know that's not for everyone, but like really helps me. Whatever it means for you to be prepared, like be prepared, whether that's like I always have my backpack packed, like I always have like things ready. I've been meal, I don't want to say I've been meal prepping, but I've been like prepping meals. <laughs> so I've been meal prepping. But like it's not like meal prep on like Pinterest, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll like make my lunches for the week. So I guess I am meal prepping. But it's not like in the sense of like a real meal prepper, you know what I'm saying? But I got these bento boxes on Amazon, I'll have them down below, they're like literally the best thing ever. Um, those have really helped me, they were like $10 and they're these containers that I just like bring my food in and I throw in the microwave at school and it's super super helpful. So things like that, like I have my meals planned out and then I'm eating healthy, I know what I'm eating and I feel better, like when I take care of myself, obviously I'm gonna feel better, so that's like a really big one for me as well. I'm like trying to get this. Okay, I'm like saying I'm prepared and I'm preparing this right now. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what is in my backpack. This backpack, yes, I use it for school, but like I pretty much bring this backpack with me like 
wherever I go every day because I always need stuff whether I'm like recording in the studio or working or going to meetings or going to class like whatever it is this backpack is the best it's a Marc Jacobs backpack um it's worth it's like I think it was like a couple hundred dollars. I don't really remember, honestly. You don't have to spend that much money on a backpack. I just really like this one and I love Marc Jacobs and I just like, I it was worth it for me because I use it so much. Anyways, there are three compartments so I'm just gonna show you guys what I always have in my backpack so we can just, you know, be on the same page. Um, I have my keys, so cute. Honestly, I have just like a ton of lip products. I have an extra charger cable right here. I have these headphones, which I honestly never use, but they're just backup slash if a friend needs headphones. I know, I'm an angel. Don't have to tell me twice. Like, literally just like so many chopsticks and like lip products and whatever. I Comment down below if you always have like a billion lip products in your, um, in your bags. I always do. And then, the pouch in the middle, the middle section, if you will. When you open it up, all I really have in here, I have my Beats headphones. I thought that um, these were stolen the other day. It turns out I slept them at the office. But, uh, yeah, that was completely my fault, but I have my Beats. Do people, like, wear Beats anymore? I feel like everyone just has AirPods. I don't have AirPods. Oh, Coco, sorry. My Beats just fell on Coco. Hey, girl, sorry. I don't have AirPods. I should probably get them, but honestly, I just like my Beats. And if I'm in class, you know when you're, like, doing homework and you put your headphones on and then people, like, come up to you and talk to you and it's, like, really annoying? I feel like if I have my Beats on, people aren't going to talk to me because they're really big, but if you have AirPods on, I feel like people come and talk to you. You know what I'm saying? What an unfortunate thing. I have my little vlog camera tripod because I'm constantly vlogging. I literally do week of my life non-stop. Um, so, I have that in there. Then I have, no surprise here, Mario Minescu Spray. If you guys keep up with my week of my life videos, like, especially I feel like last spring semester, I don't know, like, I was using this all the time in vlogs. I still use it all the time, like, mmm. This spray just like, I know a lot of, there's a lot of haters on this spray, but honestly, it just makes me feel so good and refreshed, so I'm, I'm about it. Then going into the back pouch, back section, back pocket, whatever you want to call it, um, this is where I keep like majority of my stuff. So, the first thing to, what? The first two things I have, I have my book, so, um, my like Bible for school, and then I have my notebook. Um, when you buy a new notebook, it's like a commitment. And I think I'm finally graduating my anthropology notebook phases, and I'm going into moleskins. I really need just like a nice moleskin. I'm almost out right now, that's why we're talking about it. Um, and when you buy a new notebook, it's like a really big deal. It's a very big commitment in my life. And I need to go shopping for one today, actually, which is exciting. But I will literally go to like seven stores before I'll buy one. So, yeah, I have these for class. So I just literally read and write from there all the time, like literally all the time. Um, my iPad Pro, which is a big portion of this video. This case that I have for my iPad, um, it has a keyboard in it, right? And then, like, if you slide it down, it'll stand up. This case was literally, uh, like, $30. The one from Apple is, like, 200 or, no, I think it's, like, between 100 and 200 Um, and I was gonna get that one, but then I saw in the reviews that everyone would like this one better. And I do like this one. I still need to get just a sleeve because like I do just use my iPad a lot, but I also use the keyboard a lot. So I need just like a normal sleeve. And then of course I have the Apple Pen. If you have the iPad Pro, you need the Apple Pen. It's worth the money. It's like the best thing ever. My iPad is so freaking amazing. It's my favorite thing. I read on it. I do everything on it. If you guys want an entire video on like what's on my iPad, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's like the best thing ever. And then I have my MacBook. I've had the same MacBook for three years, maybe four years this summer. That's so weird. It actually works really well at Doc and Wood. Like, I don't even, I've never really even thought about getting a new one because I just like mine. And then I have another Marc Jacobs um, case. I really love Marc Jacobs, as you guys can tell. But, um, yeah, this case is a really great laptop case. I've had this case. How many times did I say case? I've had this for probably, like, two years. I will try to link it down below if I can find it online, but it's an incredible case. Like, it's done a really great job. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is, oh, besides a bunch of scrunchies. I also have a lot of scrunchies in here. And then, like, my wallet and stuff, but, you know, that's, like, a given. That is it for what I keep in my backpack to just kind of, like, be ready for the day and stay ready. No, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. That's what it is. This is the motto of this video. So, going into digitally planning with my iPad. This is the best thing ever. I don't need this case on it right now, so I'm going to take it off. Let me tell you guys, if you are considering getting an iPad Pro, highly, highly, highly recommend it. I use it for so many things. 
going into Google Calendar. So if you guys know anything about my planning life, um, I have recently graduated from my passion planner. I love my passion planner to death. I used it for three years. I've never used a planner for that long. That is a big commitment. Again, planners are like marriage. That's Maybe this is why I'm like not married because I literally think that like a planner and a notebook are marriage. But you know what I'm saying? It's like a big commitment. You're there for the year, you're in it and like whatever. Anyways, so I've been thinking about going digital for a while. None of you guys really care about this, but the ones that do care about digital planning care about this. I was thinking about going digital for a long time. And here's the thing. So with when I have my passion planner, this is normal versus digital planning. I really liked it, it was very therapeutic for me. I loved the list aspect of it. I think it's the best planner layout for anyone, unless maybe you're in high school because it's by the hourly slot. But even then I think it's helpful. Like I think it's an amazing, amazing planner. Um, and I love the like goal aspect of it, it's amazing. So I will say I am missing that with um, my iPad Pro. So if you guys have any good apps that are like list oriented, I still have not found a list app that I love by any means. I still use notes for everything. I miss that, but overall, like, my Google Calendar has been amazing, and it's nice because, like, my management can, like, work with it and run it, and, like, people that I work with send me invites, and it's just, like, so much better. So here's for the month of January. Here's what this looks like. Um, I could have definitely put more stuff in, but I'm just, like, really, you know, planning. I'm getting better at it, um, but I have everything color-coded, so, like, purple is class. I have, um, like, the pink peaches is, like, social. The green is church stuff. Gray, like they're kind of messed up a little bit. Blue is working out, um, so you guys can see that. So I'll just show you guys like really quickly here how to make an event. So you like click event, and then you'll go through, you'll choose your date and your time. Um, I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll just choose it by the color. I have them all up color coded, so I highly recommend color coding. That is my number one tip when it comes to planning. But yeah, I just have this. It's super, super helpful, super easy. You're also able to look at it um, in different ways. So if you want to look at it from like the day, let's see, let's go to a day that I have like a lot going on. So the 18th, like I had Orange Theory, I had recording, I had computer write, girls dinner. Um, I will say because I'm like transitioning, I go on my notes app and I schedule out my day like perfectly on my notes app and then I just put the main things in my Google Calendar. But I'm going to like keep getting better and going with this. Um, it's super easy. I also like that I can have it available on like my phone at any time instead of having to like pull out my planner um, And my iPad so that's super helpful. So you look at the 19th like here's what I was doing that day 21st That was a day off like 23rd um, Like you guys can just like see like what I was doing here um, It's like super super helpful and super super easy and then you can also look at it from a week standpoint So this is really helpful if you want to see what you were doing for the week um, You guys can see that on here like whatever week it is and I like again that it's color coded I don't know how many times I can say that um, and then again going back to month I look at the month a ton I probably need to look at the week more but yeah that is how I digitally plan there's nothing like too crazy um, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more like it let me know in the comments down below I hope you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys have not already check out my vlogs check out my podcast my Instagram will be linked down below been loving that lately i love you guys so much i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys did again thumbs up okay i don't know why i keep talking i just don't want to stop filming but i love you guys so much and i'll see you soon bye